Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so um, I'm here to go ahead and go through a haul of new palettes that I just got in and I thought I'd go ahead and go through what's on my face first off. Um, I did use Pretty Fresh. This is in the shade uh, 53 uh, Light. And then as far as um, what I have on is my primer, the Super Goop uh, Glow Oil with the SPF 50 in there. For blush, I went ahead and used uh, Magic Hour by ELF Halo Glow, and so that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and use um, some of the Daybreak by Revlon, and yes, my packaging is all busted up, but that just means that I really like the product, and so this is what I have on as a highlighter. And let's see, what else do I have? Oh! I did a little bit of a swatch here. Um, I pick a, I picked up a candle lit, um, and I have magic hours, so I went ahead and did a little bit of a swatch, and actually my swatch came on. Oh no. Okay, so let's redo this here. And I thought I'd show you the difference here because the packaging just makes them look uh, pretty much pretty similar. And uh, Candlelit actually is a lot more pink, and Magic Hour has a lot more of um, orange in it. And so with the look today, I went ahead and did Magic Hour. And let's see here. As far as what else I used, um, it's now become my favorite bronzer, the MAC, and this is in Radiant Light Rosy. So that's what I have on there. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'll come in so you can get a really good look of the nasty spot that I have on my nose here. Yeah. Well, I have covered it. And I did most of what you can do for something like that by going ahead and using Pretty Fresh Concealer and then the Beauty Pie. Um, this is the brightener that they have. It's a light medium one. And if you're looking for a new one after the Rebecca one or the Becca one disappeared, uh, you might consider this one because I've really had really good luck with it and it's what I have on today. Um, <clears throat> but it really didn't go ahead and cover it as well. I mean, you can really see it there. So I thought about it technique and I figured that I'd go ahead and try it with you and see if we could go ahead and break it up a little bit more so it isn't as because when you have a spot that's right in the middle you can't just dump everything and not do anything that doesn't work you can't let your whole life stop because you know you have the leftovers of a pimple right so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Mac and we're going to go ahead and contour my nose, which is something I usually don't do. So, I'm going to start here. And I am going pretty heavy on it. But I figure that we can go all the way from the eyebrow down. And then do a little bit across here. And in the process, I can go right across this and hopefully break it up a little bit so it doesn't look like one big, one big nasty. It looks a little bit smaller, maybe, than one big nasty. <laughs> and yeah, it's a bruise, you know? So yes, I did pop that pimple. I really did. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and take a little bit of the highlighter and go right down the middle of the nose. And again, what I'm hoping is that this will not only take um, it'll go ahead and uh, the shadow will get you not to look at it and the highlighter will have you look at something else. So hopefully um, 
yeah, the shadow that we're getting from the bronzer will break it up a little bit so it doesn't look as big and grody as it is. And the highlighter will go ahead and draw your eye away from it anyway. So uh, that's my thought. I don't know what you can see at this point because really my viewfinder doesn't show. But I'm hoping that it's a little less... <laughs> It's a little less eye-catching than it was before. So that's my tip for those the leftovers from the spots. So that's uh, my take on how to go ahead and deal with it. And, you know, I didn't have any patches on hand to go ahead and put a patch on it. So I just did go ahead and pick at it. And, yeah, it's going to take a while to heal here. So, Okay. So moving on to eyes and what I have on right now, um, I have the Hogwarts palette from ColourPop. And I think it's a great palette. I think it's still available. It was last time I checked. And so I went ahead and did a look um, <clears throat> where it started with this in the crease. And then I went ahead and did the yellow right above it. I don't know if it shows up all that well. Um, but so I started with orange in the crease, and then I used the yellow right above it. Um, I went ahead and used the green, and this is a green um, that has a lot of gold in it. And I put that on the lid um, about from the inner of the corner to about halfway out there. And then I did the darker green um, on the corner of the eye. As far as this shade, which I don't know if you can see it, but... Um, it actually, it's pretty green, and it has a little bit of, I think, probably silver in there. And I took that from the inner corner up here, and then I went ahead and used uh, this white color uh, right under the brow. So uh, that's what I did there. And then I did go ahead and use an Emride pencil um, to go ahead and eyeline around the eye. And I think it turned out really pretty. Uh, this is the way the eye look turned out. This whole eyeshadow palette, um, I would say, is one of ColourPop's best. It just has so many different looks that you can do with it, and you can, you know, you can go into the blue, the green. Um, you can go totally natural, or you can spice it up and do a whole bunch of red and really build it up. So it's definitely a good one if you find that, you know, you want to go ahead and pick up something like this. Um, I put this in my uh, video where I did uh, dupes for the Yucca palette by <clears throat> Natasha Denona. Excuse me there. So, uh, yeah, I think it works out really well. And I think I had fall on my mind when I went ahead and did this uh, haul. Um, as Alta had half off some of the, well, not half of, off, but up to half off some of their palettes. So I went ahead and picked up some of the ones that I had been thinking about, but that I hadn't really gone ahead and picked up. This was uh, one of them. This is by Undone Beauty. It's the About Last Night palette, and they're available on Ulta. Um, you can go ahead and uh, order them online, but I don't think they're available in stores right now. And I actually got two palettes from them. The other one is called uh, 710 Bear. I think this was the original one that they came out with. And so it has a light side and a dark side to it. And again, for fall, I thought both of these would be, you know, pretty good to go ahead and do fall looks with. And yeah, we're already thinking about that. Isn't that just weird? Let's go back to summer for a little while. Um, I got the Desert Lights, which I consider to be like one of those... Uh, one of those palettes that just is going to survive forever. This is by Flower Beauty. And uh, just one that I think they did amazingly well. And their formula is just beautiful. And they also have one called Jungle Lights, which is um, which has uh, more green and purple in it. But, um, yeah, these are beautiful palettes. If you ever get the chance, they're uh, 
they're just gorgeous. And then, again, I was just going for fall. I don't know why. Um, the Reloaded uh, by Revolution, I went ahead and picked these up. And the Reloaded ones are supposed to have a really good formula. Um, and I also got Velvet Rose as well. Yeah, Velvet Rose. Um, believe it or not, Provocative actually is more of a berry rosy kind of look to it. And Velvet Rose actually it has a lot more brown in there. So I did go ahead and pick up both of these as well. Um, I got one other one here. This one I've already done a look with. And I did it with, you know with my big nasty on my nose and uh, so this one is welcome to sin city and it did come with a couple of the shades cracked but even with a couple of shades cracked i would definitely go ahead and recommend this one it's a brand new palette by essence i think the formula is absolutely amazing and gorgeous and again it'll take you into fall it's just a gorgeous palette and it's all shimmers so that's one of, that's my last one from my um, haul here and I think that's just about everything um, a tip and a haul so I'll see you later and oh wait a minute I forgot once again the lip stuff so this is uh, Maybelline and it's a super stay matte ink in 130 so that's what I have on there. And then I put the color pop so glassy on top of it. So that's what I came out with for uh, the lip look. And I think that's everything. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye.